Cyril Matamela Ramaphosa was born in Johannesburg on 17th November 1952. He is the second of the three children of Erdemuth and retired policeman Samuel Ramaphosa. He grew up in Soweto attending a local primary school in Sekan on Tuani High School. In 1971, he matriculated for Mpapuli High School in Sibasa, Limpopo. In 1972, he registered at the University of the North for a B. Brock degree. He became involved in student politics and joined the South African Students' Organization, SASO, in 1972. In 1974, he served as chairman of the Student Christian Movement. After the pro-free Limo rally at the university in 1974, Ramaphosa was detained for 11 months under Section 6 of the Terrorism Act. On his release, he joined the Black People Convention, BPC, holding positions on various committees. He obtained articles with a Johannesburg firm of attorneys while working for the Black People Convention. In 1976, following the unrest in Soweto, Ramaphosa was again detained under the Terrorism Act for six months and this time held at John Foster Square. On his release, he continued with his articles and completed his B. Brock degree through correspondence with the University of South Africa, known as UNISA, in 1981. He completed his articles in the same year and joined the Council of Unions of South Africa as an advisor in the legal department. In December 1982, Ramaphosa became the first secretary of the National Union of Mine Workers. In July 1986, after the declaration of the state of emergency, Ramaphosa went into hiding after security police swoops on the homes and offices of the political activists. Ramaphosa was refused a passport to Britain in September 1987. Ramaphosa served as chairman of the National Reception Committee, which coordinated arrangements for the release of negotiations, commissions of the ANC, and participated in the Convention for a Democratic South Africa, CODESA. In May 1994, he was elected chairperson of the new Constitutional Assembly, a position he resigned in May 1996, together with that of General Secretary of the ANC. Ramaphosa is the executive chairman of Millennium Consolidated Investment, MCI, and non-executive chairman of Jonic Holdings, MTN Group Limited, and Sasria. His directorships include South African Breweries, First Rand Limited, Max Steel Holdings, Alexander Forbes, and Matt Scheme Limited. In August 2012, Lomnen, a company that Ramaphosa was a non-executive board member, was dealing with an unprotected strike. The strike eventually climaxed with the Marikana massacre that left 34 mine workers dead at the hands of the police. In December of the same year, he was elected as ANC Deputy President. On 3rd February 2013, he resigned from his position at Lomnen. In 2015, the Marigana Commission of Inquiry cleared Ramaphosa of any responsibility. President Jacob Zuma appointed Ramaphosa as the Deputy President of the State in 2014 after he was elected Deputy President of the ANC in 2012. As a result of this, Ramaphosa resigned from a number of positions, most notably as Chairman of the Shanduka Group Investment, which he started in 1997. Ramaphosa was then appointed by the then President Jacob Zuma to the position of Special Envoy to South Sudan to act as a mediator in the conflict between different factions in South Sudan. In September 2017, Ramaphosa headed the unsuccessful South African bid for the 2023 Rugby World Cup in London. On 18th December 2017, he was elected to the position of President of the ANC. Ramaphosa is married to Dr. Tepo Matsepe and they have four children. 
He became president following the resignation of Jacob Zuma. Previously an anti-apartheid activist, trade union leader and businessman, Ramaphosa served as the deputy president of South Africa from 2014 to 2018. Ramaphosa was elected unopposed as the fifth democratically elected president of South Africa by the National Assembly on 15th February 2018. Ramaphosa took his oath of office by former Chief Justice Mokhwe Mokhwe. Ramaphosa's estimated net worth was estimated at over 6.4 billion rands. President Cyril Ramaphosa's political future hangs in the balance after an independent panel found evidence that he may have violated the country's constitution and breached the country's anti-corruption laws in an incident involving large sums of cash stolen from his Palapala farm in 2020. It is alleged that Ramaphosa tried to cover up a robbery at his Palapala farm in Limpopo, where the alleged robbers helped themselves to an undisclosed amount of American dollars, estimated to be between four to eight million dollars, approximately between 76.5 and 145 million rents, which was found concealed in the president's furniture, including a couch and a mattress.